simple symmetry is exemplified in the agnovirus. The agnoviruses are even much larger viruses, and these structures uh, require a few points, and I will do my best. One, the particle has a strikingly icosahedral shape with fibers coming out of the five-fold positions that are responsible for cell attachment. This is key because the main part of the code is represented by a protein called a hexon. And the hexagonal rays are not exactly hexonagals. They're more of a trimer. And the trimer has two beta jelly roll Morton domains that are similar in their overall shape next to each other. So it has a kind of hexagonal outline. So as a result, the face of these icosahedrals does have threefold symmetry, and the whole structure has threefold symmetry. But the hexon itself is a threefold and not a sixfold symmetric entity. Now, one thing that's quite interesting in aspect of the of the structure here of the cornism virus is the PRD1 and the PRD2 and many other factors that are now well known is it has the essentially exactly the same design. Agnoviruses are viruses of humans and, and vertebrates and, and others and both and larger species as well. So with this structure one can make the point that even viruses of bacteria have strong resemblances in their design to those of humans and vertebrae and plants. So let's back up again and take a look. We can see like the tomato bushy stunt virus and the bacorno virus.